Hi everyone, Shai from Rapid Tech here, and today we'll go into the CSP Scanner. It's a Chrome extension that helps web developers and security researchers truly understand a website's content security policy and learn if it's actually effective at protecting from cross-site scripting, clickjacking, and other client-side attacks. We'll also go into analyzing potential bypasses to the CSP. Let's get to it. If you haven't already, then please install the CSP Scanner Chrome extension now. The site we'll review is Quora. Clicking on the extension badge, we can see that the score for this site is not very high. Let's see specifically what's wrong. Their reporting is partial. Cross-site scripting has weak protection only, while other attacks have no protection at all. Now, this huge list does not mean that this is an effective policy. Let's get into the details. First, we can see that by default this uh, site allows a wildcard. This is a recipe for disaster and for the content security policy to be ineffective. In addition, other critical tags and directives like base URI, frame ancestors, and upgrade and secure requests have not been set for this policy. Let's look at the script source. We can see that uh, we're using wildcards here. So Google Analytics is known to host JSONP and GStatic is known to host legacy Angular libraries. Both of these serve as useful CSP bypasses for attackers trying to reach cross-site scripting. Last but not least, we can see that form action was not set. So this policy will not be effective against form jacking. The next site we'll be reviewing is PayPal. Again, clicking the badge icon, we can see that this site has a more acceptable grade, a B. Now, let's go into the details. We can see that they have a report URI, so they're getting all the CSP violations into an internal uh, BI index. In addition, they have a subdomain wildcard in their uh, default source. This is not advised, and specifically a site like PayPal may have around 500 DNS entries, so this leaves a lot of room for bypasses. Uh, they did not set frame ancestors, much like the previous site that we saw. And we can see that they are using nonces, which is very good and a very efficient way of deploying content security policy. So altogether, PayPal gets a decent score, pretty good content security policy that defends the site against a wide array of attacks. Let's review github.com. We can already see that they have very strong protection against the various attacks. And the main thing they are missing is reporting. Basically, they've not set up a report URI so they can get violation reports and understand what their content security policy is blocking. This has two main drawbacks. One, they could be blocking legitimate parts of their site and not knowing about it. And the second, they don't get notifications when a real attack gets blocked, for example, an XSS. We can see that they set all the necessary directives correctly. And the main things they are missing is getting report samples from style and source directives and also having an unsafe inline inside the style source. So let's see how we can improve the GitHub CSP. I'm clicking edit CSP here and I get referred to the CSP scanner website with that same content security policy. Now, in order to set a report URI, the best and most effective method is to set up a free report URI at rapidsec.com It really takes a couple of minutes. I've already set up one here. And basically all you have to do is take that report URI, 
and add it. Boom, we're an A+. Plus. That's great. Uh, we still have partial reporting, and this is because we did not add report sample uh, to the script source and the style source. Let's do that right now. And in the meantime, remove the unsafe inline. Of course, assuming our application does not actually need it. And we are in full CSP reporting. Setting up CSP reports is a critical factor in succeeding with content security policy. Here, in the RapidSec dashboard, you can see an aggregation of the CSP reports reported to the report URI by the browsers. You can easily scroll through and also filter as you see fit. Another powerful feature is suggesting enhanced directives based on the same logic running inside the CSP scanner and based on your log specifically. Now, back to the GitHub CSP. In order to reach general protection, what we'll need to do is change this wildcard. So this would be something like uh, upload.github user content, though GitHub specifically has set up distinct domains for this. So this is a bit of cheating. Anyway, great content security policy by GitHub, uh, truly protects their website from a wide array of these client side uh, attacks. And uh, well done. Enjoy using Content Security Policy Scanner. And we'll talk soon.